You probably know what a bagel is, but do you know what a bialy is? We say it's a cross between a bagel and an English muffin. Warren Bell is the second generation owner and president of Bell's Brooklyn Bagels and Bialys in Oceanside. Bell's produces more than 250,000 Bialys a week, selling them to bagel wholesalers, supermarkets, and to bagel shops that don't make their own. And you're the biggest wholesalers in the New York area? Probably in the country, honestly. Yeah. Maybe the world. I mean, I don't know if any other country's making Bialys, but we're definitely. I could comfortably say we're the largest in the United States. Warren's son, Jared, is the company's vice president. There's a couple differences when it comes to the bagel and bialy. A bagel dough is flour, salt, water, yeast, sugar, malt, and other additives, while a bialy is just flour, salt, water, yeast, nothing else. This silo holds 90,000 pounds of flour. Pipes in the ceiling direct the flour into a mixer where it gets kneaded with salt, yeast, and water. The dough is then fed in large chunks into a machine that forms it into balls. And here they come. These balls are called tagles. No one knows why. The boards are liberally sprinkled with cornmeal so the tagles don't stick to them, which helps give them their distinctive texture. The dough balls, the tagles, then go into a warm, humid proofing box to rise. Bagel's machine made while the bialy is individually pulled by hand and smeared with fresh ground Spanish onions in the center. It takes about three to six months to actually learn to pull a bialy, and you can see what they have to do is keep up with it. It's a, you know, it's like an art form. The biggest difference between bagels and bialys is that the bagels are traditionally boiled before they are baked. That's what gives them their shiny crusts. Bialys are simply baked which gives them a classy matte finish. The oven's 700 degrees on top and 600 on bottom. And you see when they come out, it's that golden brown color. Yeah. That's the proper color of a bialy. Bialys are usually split and toasted, like English muffins. Okay, you want to move the bialy, not the knife. But I found that a fresh one consumed on the factory floor needed no toasting. Is now the time when I eat a bialy? Oh, yes, right off the oven. There's nothing better. It's got a beautiful crumb structure, and the onion just adds a little bit of pep. It's perfect. What do you prefer, a bagel or a bialy? Oh, bialy. Jared, bagel or bialy? Bialy, 100%.